guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button and like, oh my god, there's a notification on my phone. Sorry about that. As I was saying, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. So, um, hit the subscribe button, comment, like, <laughs> what is this video? So, in today's video, as you can tell by the title, it's going to be a writing vlog. I put quotations around writing because I'm not going to be doing much writing in this. Actually, I'm not going to be doing any writing in this. In this video, I'm just going to be talking about, um, like, my progress as a writer and a little bit about my story. I'm not gonna, like, tell you the plot or anything, but I'm just gonna tell you, like, I don't know, <laughs> just tell you, like, the progress of my story or something. You'll see. <laughs> so, yeah. So, first of all, I just want to talk about my progress as a writer. I have been writing books ever since I was in like second grade. Yeah. I, as young as four years old, I would have these made up characters in my head and I would have made up scenarios in my head of my characters doing random crap. I know I sound crazy. <laughs> and I still do that to this day. And I thought, well, seven year old me thought, hey, why don't I write a book about this? I want to share my mind with people. So I started writing books. I wrote three picture books at just eight years old. Of course, they never got published or anything. I just like wrote them for fun. I shared them with my friends and family. I Sadly, I don't have them anymore. I gave them away. I forgot who I gave them away to. I don't know if they still have it, but yeah. I wish I made a few more copies. So yeah, that's a little bit about my writing history. And there's this new big story I'm working on that's been in development since 2015. I was in fourth grade in 2015, I was nine years old. I'm 15 now, so yeah, it's been almost six years since this story has been in development. Um, obviously, well not obviously, but my story has been through lots of changes. I've added new plots, I've added new characters, I've like put more, I don't know, intense uh, plot plots into the story because like I like I'm like I said I was nine years old and I was quite innocent and now that I'm 15 I want to put more deep stuff into my writing <laughs> so the reason why I really wanted to create this story is because I've always imagined it as like a cartoon series but like since I'm only a kid I have no power to make a cartoon series so all I can really do for now is just like write a book and maybe hopefully it can turn into a cartoon series later because that that's my that's my goal in life is to make this story into a cartoon like I want that so bad <laughs> okay so let me talk about a little bit about the story itself so my story is like it has five sagas in it but each saga has six individual story arcs. So, yeah. I have a lot of writing to do. Oh, hey, I never said what my story's about. Let me say that real quick. So, like, like I said earlier, I'm not gonna, like, get too much into it because I don't want my ideas to get stolen. No, thank you. But basically, the genre of my story is fantasy and magical girl and superheroes and action. A little bit of sci-fi. So, yeah, that's pretty interesting. I, it's not exactly original, but hey, it seems interesting in my head. Okay, I don't know how other people will feel about it. That's why I'm working on it. <laughs> Hold on, let me make this up. So I'm going to talk about my inspirations to write this story. Well, ever since 
um, uh, I was like nine, I discovered Magical Girl anime, Magical Girl Shoujo anime, and I really enjoyed it. And I just wanted to make my own. And before I even watched uh, all those Magical Girl anime, I already had all my original characters in my head. And I just thought, hey, why don't I use them for this? So then from then on, I just made up my own Magical Girl story. I, I promise I did not steal anyone's ideas, okay? I just got inspired from them. I never like straight up stole anything. Okay. <laughs> I keep on staring off into space. I don't know why I keep doing that. So yeah, Magical Girl anime is my inspirations. I get inspiration from Sailor Moon, Pretty Cure, Ojimajo Dori Me, uh, what else? Tokyo Mew Mew, and Pop of Girl Z. Those are those five are my inspirations. Here are my dreams for this story. Uh, I think I said this earlier in the video, but I really want this story to become a cartoon. Here's why. Now, books are cool and all, but I feel like it's a, like I said, it's a fantasy story. It's a action story. I feel like it would be much more cooler if you could see it physically on screen instead of trying to imagine it in your head. I'm not saying imagination is bad, by the way, because imagination is good. It's good to have a good imagination. But like, just saying. Seeing it on screen would be much more cooler. And maybe I want to make it into like a comic book slash manga first, and then it can turn into a cartoon. Who knows? Hey, Nickelodeon, Disney, Cartoon Network, you watch this video. Hit me up. I'm kidding. Also, one more thing I would like to add is that I drew OCs for this story. I drew all my original characters. I didn't draw all of them, but I drew some of them. I don't feel comfortable sharing them yet, but I probably will in the future. So, yeah, I just wanted to say that. <laughs> this video was really short. Uh, I didn't really talk too much about the writing, but maybe in my next writing vlog, I will start doing some actual writing. So, yeah. Stay tuned for that. Also, another thing, I would like to apologize if I ramble a lot in this video. I'm really shy around the camera. I usually do a really good job at talking to myself, but when the camera is actually there, I go. <laughs> okay. Well, that is going to be all, my friends. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, like this video, comment down below if you can relate to me, if you have a story that you want to write, but I don't know, laziness in writer's block has gotten to you. So, yeah. Bye!